Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Rose, Victoria Rose. You can sit together, stay apart. Don't really make a difference to me. I'm back with another motherfucking video. Um, Y'all, <laughs> it's probably like 10.45, 11 o'clock in the morning. And when I say we have been going, what you think, sis? Can y'all see her back there? She grabbing. Y'all, I still got that crack on my screen. Yes, I have not went and took my ass to the mall and got my phone fixed. No. Um, so what you see is what you get. It's not gonna be like this through the whole vlog, I don't think, because um I don't know who that is. It's not gonna be like this through the whole vlog, I don't think, because I have a USB coming. It's supposed to be here today, and so is my Sims game and a couple other things, but I've already got one vlog that is kind of patchy and so I just wanted to make this one a little better than what the last one was. We were out uh, yesterday. We got snowed in. I don't know if y'all can see the background in everybody's cars, but there's snow. Uh, everybody's cars because Texas got some goddamn snow yesterday. <laughs> and it was so beautiful. It was so nice. And I was sick, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I had, took some NyQuil and I was pretty daisy whenever I let my kids like look out the door. We didn't even go outside because... It gets cold where I live, and y'all know that. Please excuse some bumps because I'm rubbing out them because they bother me mentally, but I'm trying to talk through it. Um, it was super cold, and then they're super little. And Anna's janky. She can't play in the rain. She can't play in the snow. She can't play in none of that. She'll have pneumonia the next day. So we looked out the window at it and just saw what was going on. It was super beautiful. Um, it's still really pretty on our way home. Like I'll get some more clips. The sun is trying to come out But it's a whole bunch of clouds. It's going to cover it up. So maybe we'll have time to see it um On my last vlog, I wanted to show y'all my merch, but it's like I ran out of days like what I had ordered and then I Have pictures of them like of what I had that I was selling y'all. I Think I got to like post them on my on my Facebook and my Insta and my snap story once and they were going like that like i probably got two or three left i have more coming in the mail so i'll show y'all those but y'all i was so nervous about starting that i was so nervous about selling that i was so nervous about getting it started and i did good i ain't gonna lie i did damn good like i didn't know that she was gonna sell like that but it made me feel really good don't worry i have more on the way and other things um it was crazy how fast i made my money back in so god is good but today, uh, we started out really early. We went to Sissy's Dentist and got a paper signed. Um, she's not due to get anything done. And she didn't need anything done. God is good. So, uh, we'll set her something up for February or later. Mom. What, Anna? Why you trying to go to school, so then we went shopping and we bought her some more outfits for school because she wore a lot of her outfits during Christmas break because her Christmas break was like from Thanksgiving to like today. But then it snowed yesterday so they canceled school today. So we was ripping and running and trying to get all that done and they still canceled school. So we really could still be in the bed and we could just be getting up and just be starting our day. And we still would have did fine but it was good to shop and actually look through shit and go through shit and not have people around you like tj maxx wasn't busy ross wasn't busy like all the all the little stores that we went through oh sissy we forgot to go to five and below i wanted to go to five and below and try to find me a phone holder so whenever i'm driving i can vlog but well, we can go to it right now we're too far now like we're closer home than town what it's still right to town. You just down the ride, and I'm not finna waste my time. I'm not finna play with you. I have to go home and uh, I gotta. Well, I gotta come back to town because I gotta send some packages out, anyways. So, but let me run in here in the dollar store real quick and get whatever what I needed to get out of here. I need um, toothpaste, more toothpaste, kids toothpaste, kids toothpaste, and what else do we need, Sissy? Propane. Propane. All right, we'll be back. Damn, y'all, the lettuce is on the ground. I was coming to Staples to give me some little baggies because I got some orders to send out. And the ones that I ordered for Amazon, it's not here yet. Bitch, this place is closed. That is on the floor. They pulled up so I can't see it. But.
Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So as y'all just saw, I was in UPS. I couldn't really talk in there because it was super quiet and like awkward. So I didn't really talk too much, but y'all saw how that went. And um, that was super fun. Thank y'all for that experience. I just sent it out to Texarkana, El Paso, Port Arthur. That's the next one. So shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for supporting Victoria Rose Collection. I really, really appreciated it. Now, so now we gotta try to find us something to eat. And I don't even know what I want. Okay, y'all, so I'm finally home. Today was a day. It wasn't a day, but it was an experience and it was a good experience. Like I got, I got, um, I got five outfits sold i have three left in stock before my next stock gets here i appreciate y'all so much um as y'all saw a while ago i was just at ups that was my first time sending off my orders it was a bit pricier than i thought it was gonna be so <clears throat> i probably am gonna start asking people like do you need a mail to you or do you want me to meet you i'm okay with keeping my set price with people that i meet but i am gonna have to start charging shipping for um people that are going to want to have their items sent because that was not cheap that was about fifty dollars for like three packages four packages <clears throat> so staples is gone as y'all saw so i'm gonna have to get online and order me some package i mean i already have but i just gotta wait for amazon to send me my package labels because i had to buy three at ups a while ago and that was like $15 by itself. If you can read my mind, I said, y'all need y'all ass whooped. That's crazy. <clears throat> so, I'm definitely about to order those because I think they were going to send me like 100 for like $7. So, if you ever need to know where to get your packaging paper, go to Amazon. I'm also uh, going to, because the money that I've been making selling my outfits, I haven't spent any of it. Like, I've been putting it in my savings because eventually, like, <clears throat> I want to make it to where my business pays for itself. Like, I'm not taking any money out of my other incomes to run my boutique, if that makes sense. And I have, I think I have the right motive. I think I'm going the right way with it. And I'm going the right way with this successfully because I haven't touched it. I'm not going to touch it. I have a lot of other sources of income, so I shouldn't even have to touch it. <clears throat> so that's a good thing there. Um, But for the most part, I just appreciate y'all. Like I've sent out an order to Texarkana. I've sent out an order to El Paso. I've sent out an order to um port arthur um i've been to cedar creek to make or uh to make deliveries people at my job have made delivery i mean have bought stuff like people meet me at my job on my way to work at 10 o'clock at night picking up orders like i appreciate that i see that i just love it y'all i was y'all don't understand how nervous i was about starting this like <clears throat> I guess I got discouraged because the whole time I've been knowing that I wanted to do this, I told a friend, like, around this time last year, and she was like, girl, don't do that. And I'm not saying it negatively, but I wish I hadn't listened to nobody else's advice because she was like, girl, don't do that. Start a modeling agency. People need models and whoop-de-whoop, -whoop, which I get, but I could have did both because I'm going to need people to ambassador my stuff. I want to put work into my outfits. I want to put work into my work. So I'm going to be paying for photo shoots. I'm going to be paying for you to have high quality photos. That's nothing for you to add to your portfolio in boom what are you now a model you know what i'm saying and i didn't think about it back then and i shouldn't let nobody string me off because she was like everybody's coming out with clothing lines everybody's coming out with this and i ain't seen shit to be honest so like that kind of closed me in i had i didn't really talk about it to nobody else i didn't really go about it with nobody else because then i felt discouraged because i was like shit everybody's opinions and everybody's advice really ain't for me like this is for me what's for me is for me and can't nobody else really tell me what's good and what's bad so you might as well just do what makes you happy and if i would have known i was gonna take off like this like i wouldn't have even listened like i wouldn't have even gave my two cents sort of say 
And I ain't hating, I ain't mad. And I'm sure she wasn't on no negative energy. I'm sure she wasn't on no, but I, it just taught me, like, if you want something, go get it. If your mind is set on something, go do it. Like, don't wait for the next person's approval. Don't wait for the next person to say, oh, yeah, girl, that's cute. Because everybody ain't going to like what you sell anyway, but one day they might. And everybody ain't going to support you, but one day they might. So, and I'm cool with everybody. I ain't got no big beefs with nobody. And I don't go back and forth with nobody. If you mad, you doing that shit over there. Okay. What'd he say? No. No. You said. No. So I'm just happy that I finally just went ahead and did it. I did good. I didn't even order enough. People are still hitting me up. Like, I feel bad because now I'm just like, just wait. It's coming. There's more coming. There's more coming. And I don't want to lose them. And then, so I'm just excited. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to make this a weekly vlog. And it's only Monday, so I'm just going to go ahead and make it a weekly vlog. But tomorrow, we are going to... Go get my name DBA at the courthouse. Me and my daddy. And that should be fun. And interesting. I don't know what happened. I was posting my outfits on my story. And then all of a sudden it was like, your picture was reported. Some, some, something. Selling some, some, something. Some bullshit. And they put me in Facebook jail. So I cannot access my Facebook. So I'm promoting... My last three onesies are my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat because it's crazy. But it's cool enough out here. The sun is going down. It's going to look chilly, and I'm sipping on this margarita. I'm fixing to go in the house and turn on Above the Rim and then Love and Basketball and then probably Hangover 3 and a whole bunch of other movies because I'm off tonight and I'm just chilling. I've made shit. I've made what I would make at work today. <laughs> boo boo. Lost pounds better count their days. Because <laughs> God is good, y'all. And it feels good to say that it's just like the 11th of the new year. The 11th, the 11th day of the new year. And I'm making very good progress. I'm making a big, big movements that I said that I needed to make for this year. So, let me pat myself on my back. Let me toot myself on my horn. Y'all gonna hear me uplifting myself a lot in my vlogs this year. Y'all gonna hear me giving myself a lot of compliments. Y'all gonna hear me being real cocky on my vlogs this year. Because that's just the attitude that I'm about to pursue. And that's the energy that I need y'all to take in. Because we ain't bitter for 2021. We ain't no hating ass bitch. And we gonna tell pretty girls when they are pretty this year. And that's just what it is. Ain't nobody mad. Ain't nobody hating. Ain't nobody jealous on my end. And if you rock with me, then that's just how you rock. Like, you just want to see everybody make it. I want to see all my friends make it. I want to see everybody come up. And at this point, I'm just rambling. So I'm done. Like I said earlier, and I'm about to go in and turn on my movies. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to my YouTube. It is the next day. Um, Tuesday, we're getting ready for school. It's cold out here. And y'all know a bitch ain't got... A automatic gate, yeah. So guess my what cold ass is doing? Opening the gate. Whew, it's cold. Okay. Sissy, you excited? Yeah. Yes. Uh, all right, y'all. We about to drive and be on our way. To school. To school. And we'll see y'all when we get there. Take a picture for your Amy. Wait, one, two, stand still. Okay, I got one. Okay. 
You can see my mouth. Okay. Oh, I have an idea. You want to make cookies today? Oh. All right, we can make cookies today. No crying, you'll be fine. It's okay. No, sir. No. I like them shoes, ma'am. Take that mask. That's a pretty mask. Oh, y'all, my baby is such a big girl. She's okay, y'all know she's been virtually learning all year. So today is actually her first day back, like since August. Ooh. Like since August, actually going to school. And she can see all her little friends. And she <laughs> we're standing in line right there. And the lady's like, okay, who's next? She like cuts everybody in line. She's like, get my temperature now. Like, I got to get in here. <laughs> Our teachers are like me. They were so happy to see her. It was super cute. I know she's gonna have fun. We live in a small town, so like, I don't know if you can see them right there, but kids still walk to school. Our town is so little. Like, the school is still kindergarten through pre-K through 12th grade. Like, everybody's still the same school. So like, Pretty much everybody has a chance to learn what they're supposed to learn in class. Like, everybody gets equal learning. That's why uh, she doesn't go to, like, Bastrop or, like, no big-ass school. Because my baby's very smart for her age. That's why whenever... Uh, so, y'all, I opened up yesterday and told... Uh, I ain't even finna talk about it. But the bitch tried to test my baby... Uh, the bitch tried to test my baby's knowledge. Like, like, why does she even know words like that? Bitch, why don't y'all come around? And you would know how much she know. Like, that really pissed me off, y'all. And I don't even want to get into the story. I don't even want to... I'm not even going to talk about it. But the bitch really tried to play with my baby. And now she's blocked. And she was the last little family member that was going to make it. But fuck all of them motherfuckers in real life. And I could give a fuck if they ever come around. Now that that vent is over with. Now I'm going to the store. Give me a few things from the store. Because that is not my energy this morning. We are on positive energies. Oh my God, y'all. So I, y'all know I'm a boss babe. Period. <laughs> Young entrepreneur in the making. But y'all know this is an entrepreneur. This is not the first entrepreneur vlog. This is kind of an entrepreneur vlog. I guess I got the right direction going because I did start it out pretty strong yesterday. But anyways, um, we're taking this boot camp right now. And the lady that spoke last night, like she had us get out a piece of paper. And I, whenever I get home and like I could talk a little more like whenever I come back on camera I'll let y'all tell y'all but it was like have a routine have a self-talk like always anything that's gonna put positivity and motivation into you that's what you need to be tuned into that's what you need to be doing like you need to be waking up early getting a head start a full head start of what everybody else has going on in the day like be aware of your surroundings be aware of what you got going on for the day make your agenda check your agenda go over your agenda like it's a lot of good things and I don't know how this opportunity fell in my lap, y'all. I don't know where these people found me at. I don't know how I became a boss, babe. I know I took the steps and paid the money and, like, sold the shit and, like, went and did the shit that I was supposed to do. But it's just, like, how did God put this in my lap? But I'm not fixing to question it. I don't care to question it. I'm just thankful that it is here. Y'all, it's some really good stuff. I'm going to share it with y'all. Um, But it's some really good stuff. Right now, I'm just rambling. I'm at the store. I'll be back in a minute. All right, y'all, I am back. We are leaving Cedar Creek. I made two deliveries out here. And now we're going to pick up Sissy from school. We yeah, went to, uh, we was gonna go to the courthouse so I could tell my DBA, but they go to lunch from 12 to one. And so they're not gonna be there. Okay, guys, so I am home. We just went and picked up Sissy from school. She told me that she had a great day, right? Can I talk to them? Yes. So, so I miss her. She's too short. We can't see her. Hey. Oh, my God. So, tell them about your day. Tell them you got to see all your old friends. And the old friends. And, and what? Mom. And you, they were making you? see your eyes. Shh. Shh. They can't see our eyes. They so can't see our eyes. And they remembered you on what? On the next YouTube channel. No, we're talking about school. What happened today? So I went to school. I just laid down in the bed. Did you see all your friends? Yeah. I did. Yes. I did. Did they talk about their Christmas break? No. I did. Why? Why? No, we're not supposed to talk about that. Why are we not supposed to talk about that? Because we're not. We do not talk about that in my class. Bye, humbug. 
Yeah. Nobody I'm cares what nobody got. Well, I can't can't talk my school okay, no, now, now, now your time is up. Now it's back I to me. So, um, yeah, that was her day. I got out some orders. I got some uh, packages delivered. I did some really good call. I got on a really good call with Kristen and Duchess and Destiny. I love those girls. They're awesome. Um, we had a good power hour out the way. And then um, now we are home and it's like 3 o'clock. We're about to get ready to take a nap because everybody's had a long day. I have to get ready to uh, go to work tonight. My night is kind of, my day is not complete. And, um... So I went by the courthouse and to do my, my cereal. baby. Give me a second, okay? So I went by the courthouse and I got there a little late and they went to lunch from 12 to 1 and then you know I had to be back up here to get her at 2:30 and that was like a, a hour drive so I had to cut it short but I will get it done tomorrow so that will be Wednesday's vlog going and getting our name BBA'd. This little vlog is getting interesting. But uh yeah, I'm about to chill. Put on um I already got on like some loungewear. I got on some cute little rug. Oh, and I bought these rug wrap pants at um Walmart just to see what they would be like. And the I, the, the material's kind of saggy and I got some coming. But these were $14 and I'm selling my sets for 15 and that's the top and the bottom. And just these pants is $14 and they saggy and they don't really fit that tight. So I'm finna kill that. Alright, y'all. I'm fixing to um I'll be back. I'm about to chill.